Hello students, this is Ram Sarov, your Maths faculty. I welcome you all through our live classes. Children, today we are going to discuss about the continuation of polynomials. In the children, previous classes we have discussed about what? A quadratic polynomial and how to find the zeros of a quadratic polynomial and geometrical representation of a quadratic polynomial. Okay. Children, in this class, we are going to discuss about the word a cubic polynomial children. Okay. So, cubic polynomial and what is a cubic polynomial? and what is the degree of the cubic polynomial and how we can find the a zeros of the cubic polynomial okay and some questions we are going to discuss about the what finding the zeros of the a cubic polynomial clear children this is about the today's class first one what the finding the zeros of the what a cubic polynomial first point is what finding the zeros of the cubic polynomial and the second point is what the geometrical representation of a cubic polynomial and some questions like Finding the word zeros of the a cubic polynomial. So that is what today's class children. Let us discuss one by one. Now children, I am taking the one cubic polynomial. So y is equal to what x power three minus four x. Children, can I say it is cubic polynomial? Yes or no? So what is the given polynomial? Y is equal to what x to the power of three and minus four x. Can I say it is cubic polynomial or not? Tell me children. Yes, it is cubic polynomial. Why? Because the highest exponent value is equal to what? 3. If the highest exponent value is 3, we can call into what children? It is a cubic polynomial. Okay. Now, so what is the cubic polynomial given cubic polynomial? x power 3 and minus 4x. Children, first I want to find the zeros of cubic polynomial. Tell me children how we can find zeros of the cubic polynomial. First, we need to find the what? A factorization. So, after finding the factorization, we make it what? Equating to a 0. Children, first let me do the factorization of this cubic polynomial. It is x power 3 and minus 4x. Can you tell me children what is the common term? So, common term I can take x. If I take x is comma, this is what? x square and minus 4. Isn't it children? So, it is what? x into what? x square minus 4. Children, I want to find the what? The zeros of the polynomial. So, what we have to do? Just equate into it is 0. So, we can write as what x is equal to 0 or we can write as what x square minus 4 equal to 0. Are you getting my point children? First of all, I am doing the what a factorization. That means I am taking the x is a common. If I take x is a common, so what I got children? x square and minus 4x. So, this I can write as x into x square minus 4 is equal to 0. So, children, product of these two expressions is equal to 0 means I can take x is equal to 0 or I can say x square minus 4 also 0. Any one of the terms should be 0. Children, here x is equal to 0. This I can't do anything. It is a final simplification. But come on to here, children. So, this I can write as I can write as x plus 2 into I can write as x minus 2 equal to 0. Children, here applying what a square minus b square form. So, we can write as a plus b into a minus b. Okay. Now, what we got children? We can write as x plus 2 equal to 0 or I can write as x minus 2 equal to 0. From this x value minus 2 and we can write as x is equal to plus 2. Clear children? The total how many zeros we got? We got total 3 0. One is x is equal to 0. One is x is equal to minus 2. And another is what x is equal to plus 2. Clear children? So, these zeros we are finding what by theoretically. Okay. So, these zeros what we are finding by theoretically. Children, the same zeros I wanted to find practically also. So, practically means like geographically, like by drawing the graph. Otherwise, we can say graphically also. Now, let us see children how we can go into find the same zeros by graphically. Okay. Now, children, first take the graph of the word cubic polynomial y is equal to what x to the power of 3 and minus 4x. Children, first I wanted to draw the some points. First, I want to find the points of the word x coordinate and y coordinate. First, I will take x is equal to what something minus 2. If I take x is equal to something minus 2, I want to find what is the y value. Now, children, do one thing take x is equal to minus 2 and substitute in the given polynomial. Okay. So, minus 2 whole cube is equal to how much children? It is minus 8. 
and minus 4 into minus 2, it is plus 8. So, minus 8 plus 8 is equal to how much children? Answer is 0. If x is equal to minus 2 and y value how much? It is 0. Okay, that is the first point. And second point, I am taking x is equal to what? A minus 1. Take x is equal to minus 1 and substitute here. So, 1 cube value 1 and 4 into 1, it is 4. So, 1 minus 4, what is the value children? It is minus 3. So, if I take x is equal to minus 1, so y is equal to what? A minus 3 is the answer. Clear children? And next one, if I take x is equal to 0, if I take x is equal to 0, so what is the y value children? So, this is 0 and this is 0. So, 0 minus 0, it is 0. So, y is equal to what? 0 is the answer. If I take x is 0 and y also what? A 0. Now, children, I am taking x is equal to 1. So, 1 cube minus 4. So, 1 cube value 1 and 4 into 1, it is 4. So, what is 1 minus 4 value? So, 1 minus 4 value is what, children? It is minus 3. Okay. So, 1 minus 4 value is what? It is a minus 3. Now, children, take x is equal to 2. So, 2 nothing but it is 2 power 3, 8. 4 into 2, it is again 8. So, 8 minus 8 is equal to how much, children? It is 0. Make clear, children, this all points. x is minus 2, y equal to 0. x is minus 1, y is what? A minus 3 x is equal to 0. So, y is equal to what? 0. x is equal to 1. So, the y value is what? It is minus 3. x is equal to 2. So, y value is equal to? I got 0. Clear, children? These are the word x coordinates and these are the word a y coordinates. Okay? Children, I am writing now all the y coordinates. See. So, these are all called what? A y coordinates. Now, children, I am writing the point. Too. So, what is the point here we can write as? First point is minus 2 comma 0. Second point is minus 1 comma 3. Third point is 0 comma 0. Fourth point is 1 comma minus 3. And fifth point is a 2 comma 0. Okay, children, these are the what the coordinates of x comma y. Clear, children, how I am writing? First, write down the x value, then write down the y value. So, writing in the within the apple bracket. Okay, so these are the what the coordinates of the points. Clear, children. Okay. So, I am writing all the coordinates of the point that is x comma y. Okay. Now, children, take the graph and plot all the points. After that, join with your free hand. Clear, children? Okay. Now, children, I am taking the one graph here. So, again, the horizontal line is called what, children? It is x axis and vertical line is called what? It is the y axis. Isn't it? Now, children, look at the first point. What is the first point, children? The first point is what? A minus 2 comma 0. So, x is what? A minus 2 and y is what? 0. So, I can say the point lies here only. Second point is what? A minus 1 comma 3. So, this is minus 1 and this is 3. And next point shall learn 0 comma 0. So, I can say this point is a 0 comma 0 because x also 0 and y also 0. Next point, x is 1 and y is minus 3. So, x is 1 and y is what? Shall learn a minus 3. 0 comma 0, then x is what? 1 and y is what? A minus 3. Next one, children, a 2 comma 0. So, this point is what? A 2 comma 0. Clear, children? Then join this all points with your free hand, children. So, join like this with your free hand. Clear, children? So, you will get the graph like this shape. Children, for the cubic polynomial, we do not have any particular shape, but you will get the only curve. Okay. But quadratic polynomial, we get every time with a parabola only. So, parabola is what? It may be upward direction or it can be what? A downward direction. That depends upon the what? X square coefficient, isn't it? But the cubic polynomial, we do not have any particular shape, children. We can't give any name for that. But simply, we can say it is curve only. Now, children, look at this figure. I got this curve. Otherwise, we can say it is a graph of the word a cubic polynomial. Clear, children? If you draw neatly, it look like, like this, children. So, it is a word, a graph of the word a cubic polynomial. Y is equal to what? X cube minus 4X. Isn't it, children? So, this is a one more point, children. It is a word a 0 comma 0. Children, if you draw the neatly, you will get the graph. 
like this shape only. Okay. Now, children, what I told you? Like zeros of this polynomial already we got. So, y is equal to x power 3 minus 4x. Here, zeros of the polynomial is what, children? By theoretically, we got the values. So, one value is what? A minus 2, second value 0, and one more value is plus 2. So, these are the what? A three zeros of the polynomial we got by a theoretical method. But how will get the children? By practical method means like graphically, this is a procedure. Now, children, you do one thing. Just look at the graph, children, and see where the graph is for intersecting the x-axis. Children, look at the figure. Can you tell me where the line is? Otherwise, where the graph is intersecting the x-axis? It is intersecting exactly three points, children. Can you tell me what are the three points? The first point is what? A minus 2, comma 0. Isn't it? And second point is a 0, comma 0. That is what? Origin. And third point is a 2, comma 0. So, the curve is what intersecting the x axis at exactly three distinct points. So, what are the three distinct points? Minus 2, comma 0. Next one, origin 0, comma 0. One more is what a 2, comma 0. Are you getting my point, children? The x axis is what? Sorry, the intersection between the, the curve and x axis are exactly three points. The curve is what intersecting the x axis exactly three distinct points that is minus 2 comma 0 and 0 comma 0 and 2 comma 0. Now, children can you tell me what are the zeros of this polynomial? How we can say from these points? I told you already, we have to take only the x coordinate values. So, here what are the x coordinate children? Minus 2. Here x coordinate is 0 and here x coordinate is 2. See, here also I got minus 2, 0, 2 and here also I got the 2, minus 2, 0. Clear children? Here also three zeros theoretically and here also three zeros practically. So, both values are exactly equal. Are you getting my point children? Here the three zeros and here also we got three exactly three distinct zero. So, I can say both the zeros are equal. Clear children? How to find the zeros of the polynomial like cubic polynomial? By theoretically and by practically. Theoretically means by equating the word zero. Practical means what children? We need to draw the graph of the cubic polynomial. Then we need to find the what? The point of intersection of x axis as well as the curve of the cubic polynomial. Then take the all the point children. From that take only the x coordinate values. So, the x coordinate value what we can say children? The zeros of the a polynomial. Clear children? Any doubts up to here? Children, it is very simple like previous cubic uh, quadratic polynomial only. Okay, but we can say here, sorry, in the quadratic polynomial, we cannot say any shape of the, we can say shape of the parabola in quadratic polynomial. But coming to cubic polynomial, we cannot say what is the exactly shape of the word, the cubic polynomial. Here we cannot decide. But there we can say exactly children, okay. So, that is the main only difference. Clear children, up to here, are any doubts? Okay. Now, children, let us see some more questions. Now, I am taking y is equal to what? x to the power of 3. So, what is our question? Draw the graph of y is over x power 3 and find the what children? Zeros from the graph. Okay. Children, we do one thing. First, I will find the zeros from the what? Theoretically. So, what is the given polynomial children? y is equal to what? x to the power of 3. So, how to find the zeros of polynomial children? By equating the what? A 0. So, what I am writing? I am writing what? x to the power of 3 is equal to 0 children. Isn't it? So, x to the power of 3 is equal to 0 means, so x can be telling children, what are the values of the x? Here exponent value is 3, so it has to satisfy the 3, 0 children. Okay, so can you tell me what are the 3 zeros? Here 3 zeros are equal, that means I can say x is equal to what? 0, 0, 0 only. Any number hold to the power of 0, it means what? It is 0 only. 0 power 3, it gives always 0. 0 power 4, always 0. So, I can say x is what? 0. But here exponent is what? 3. That means the degree is equal to 3 means it has to satisfy 3 zeros. So, here 3 zeros also same children. That is what? 0, 0, 0. Are you getting my point children? Here the 3 zeros are equal and 3 zeros are what? Equal to 0. Clear children this point or any doubts? Here three zeros. Generally, we get the word three distinct zeros. 
बट हियर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी गॉट द वर्ड थ्री जीरो आर एक्जैक्टली इक्वल दट इज जीरो का मा जीरो का मा जीरो क्लियर चिल्लन एनी डाउट रिगार्डिंग दिस क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन इज वेरी सिंपल चिल्लन I want to find the word zeros of the cubic polynomial that is y is equal to x power three. Theoretically, theoretically means what? Equating to the word is zero. So I got x power three is equal to what zero and x is equal to zero zero zero. Clear, children? So we got the three three zeros and our three zeros are equal. Now, now children, I want to find the word again same points. I'll take the x is equal to what minus two minus one zero plus one and plus two, and find the y value. Okay? Now, children, substitute x is equal to what minus two. Now, tell me what is the y value? Minus two whole to the power of three. So, what is the value? It is minus eight. Next one, minus one whole to the power of three. It is the value minus one. Zero whole to the power of three. It is the value zero. One whole to the power of three. It is what one. Two whole to the power of three. What is the value? It is eight. Clear, children. Take the x values and find the what y values. Then write down the x coordinates. So tell me, children, what are the coordinates of here? X coordinate is what minus two and y coordinate is eight. Here x coordinate is what minus one and y coordinate is also minus one. X coordinate is zero and then y coordinate also zero. X coordinate is one and then y coordinate also one and x coordinate is two, y coordinate is eight. Clear, children. How to find the coordinates for this cubic polynomial? It's so very simple, children. Just substitute the x values in a given polynomial. From that, uh, bring the y value. So x is equal to two means like minus two means we got the y also what a minus two. This is minus two. And x is equal to minus one means y also what a minus one. X is zero means y also zero. And x is one means y is one. And x is two means y also what eight. Okay. So these are the what. The points of the word, the cubic polynomial y is equal to x to the power of three. Clear, children? Any doubts up to here? Okay. Now, children, let us draw the graph of this cubic polynomial. Now, children, I am taking the graph now. What is the first point, children? Minus two comma eight. Children, take the x is what minus two and y is what a minus eight. So this point is minus two comma eight. Okay. And second point. Minus one comma minus one, so x is minus one. I mean y also minus one. Next is zero comma zero. So this is what a zero comma zero. And next one, children, one comma one. So x is plus one, y also plus one. And x is two, y is what eight. Clear, children? After plotting the points, join all the points, children. Now, now, children, I am joining all the points now. See, we got the graph like this. Just look at the graph, children. Okay, it is the shape of the graph. Otherwise, you can draw here also. So this is what exactly graph of the cubic polynomial y is equal to what x to the power of three. So when you draw the graph, children, neatly, you will get the graph this manner. Okay, you can extend up to here also. So it is what a graph of the cubic polynomial y is equal to what x to the power of three. Children, look at this figure. So, what is the intersection point of this curve, and what is the x-axis? How many points we have, children? Like point of intersection between the x-axis and curve. There is a only one possibility, children. See, it is a only one possibility. Okay. So we get only exactly a one point. Are you getting my point, children? We will get exactly a one point of intersection. So that is what a zero comma zero. So the point of intersection are what only one. That is what a zero comma zero. So from this, what is the x coordinate, children? So x coordinate is equal to what a zero. Therefore, here what zeros of the polynomial? It's only zero, children, and that zero is what repeating zeros. So we can say here zeros are what a zero, zero, zero. Clear, children? Any doubts? Just look at the graph, children, and tell me what are the zeros of this polynomial. Here I can say the curve is what intersecting the x-axis exactly one point, children. So I can say the number of zeros are what only one, but this one is what repeating. Are you getting my point, children? Because the cubic polynomial has to satisfy what a three zeros. 
So three zeros out of three zeros what? See children, exactly we have to get three zeros. According to the definition, we are supposed to get exactly three zero children. Here three may be different. Okay. Three may be different or three may be same also. Are you getting my point children? Three may be different or three may be same also. So, here I got three or what same. Sometimes I get three or different also. Okay, here three zeros are what same and that is what equal to zero. Clear children regarding this question or any doubts? Question is very simple children. Okay. Now children let us see another question and try to solve it. Now children let us see another question. So, what is the given question children? Y is equal to what? X to the power of 3 minus X square. Children, we do one thing. First, we will find the word, the zeros of this polynomial graphically. After finding the graphically, then we will find what? From theoretically. And we will check the both the zeros are equal or not equal. Okay? Now, children, what is the given polynomial again? Y is equal to X power 3 minus X square. Now, children, draw the graph. Now, I am taking X is equal to what? Minus 2. So, this is Y value, children. X is equal to what? Minus 2 x is equal to minus 2 means what children it is? Minus 2 whole to the power of 3. Minus 8. So, minus 8 and minus 2 whole square. 4. So, minus 8 minus 4. I can say it is minus 12. Next one x is what? A minus 1. So, minus 1 was minus 1 whole power 3 is minus 1 and it is minus 1 and whole square is again 1. So, minus 1 minus 1. I can say this is a minus 2. Next, x is equal to what? 0 means we can say y also 0. Like 0 minus 0, it is 0. Next, x is equal to 1. So, 1 whole to the power of what? 1 and 1 square also 1. So, I can say 0. Next one, substitute x is equal to what? 2. So, 2 power 3, 8. So, 2 square, 4. 8 minus 4, this is what? A 4. Clear children, these are the values. Minus 12 and minus 2, 0. 0 and 4. So, these are the what? Sorry, y values with respect to what? x values. Now, uh, tell me children, what is the coordinates here? So, this is minus 2 and 12. And this is what? A minus 1 and minus 2. So, this point is what? A minus 1 comma and this is a minus 2. And what about this coordinate? This is what a 0 comma 0. And this coordinate a 1 comma 0. And this is a 2 comma 4. Clear children? I am writing all the coordinates. Okay. These are the x coordinates and these are the y coordinates. Then I am writing all the points. Clear children? Now children you do one thing. I can take the graph and plot all the points children. Okay. So these are a y values and these are the what? The coordinates. Now children I am taking the graph again same manner. What is the first point children? Minus 2 comma minus 12. So, minus 2 is somewhere here children. So, minus 12 you are getting somewhere here. Okay, you think somewhere here. Next two point is minus 1 and minus 2. It is minus 1 and minus 2. Next two point 0 comma 0. Next two point children a 1 comma 0. And next two point children a 2 comma 4. So, children, I am joining all the points now. But you will draw the, this is actually what the graph of the cubic polynomial y is equal to what x power 3 minus x square. Clear, children? So, this is actually the shape of the graph. Okay. So, this is actually a 0 comma 0. Okay. Children, we will do one thing. First, we will find the what zeros of the polynomial by theoretical method. So, y is equal to what children here? x power 3 minus x square. Children take x square common. If you take x square common, this is what here? If you take x square common, this is x minus 1 equal to 0. Children x square equal to 0 or x minus 1 equal to 0. So, x is equal to what? A 0 comma 0. Here x is equal to what? 1 is the answer. Clear children? I got here three zeros, but out of three zeros, for the two zeros are repeating. 
So what are the two zero children? A zero comma zero, and one more zero is what one. So that is why see the children, the curve is what intersecting exactly two points. One is one comma zero, another is what a zero comma zero. But actually, what are the zeros of the polynomial? Zero comma zero and x is equal to one. So these are the what the three zeros of the polynomial. It is theoretically and it is what graphically. Otherwise, we can say practically also. Clear, children? Look at the figure. And just identify the number of zeros. Okay, so one is what a zero comma zero, and one more is what a one comma zero. Okay, so it is the what the finding the theoretical method, and it is the what finding the graphical method. Okay, fine, children. Let us see another question. Now, children, there is a note point here. We see that there is a what three or most zeros for the what a cubic polynomial. That means a cubic polynomial will satisfy what exactly? Otherwise, we can say at most, at most how many zeros? The three zeros, okay. And why we just three zero means the degree of the cubic polynomial is equal to three. That's why it has exactly three zeros only. I told you children this point: the zeros is equal to what? The number of zeros are equal to what? The degree of the polynomial. For the cubic polynomial, degree is equal to three. That's why it satisfies the three zeros. So out of three zeros, what happens, children? The digits are ring. The zeros are repeating. First point are what? All zeros are repeating. And second point are what? All zeros are different. And third point is what, children? First point is all the zeros are what repeating. And second point are all are different. And third point maybe two are repeating. Only two are repeating, children. Two is repeating and one more is what different. So out of three, we have the three combination. First combination is what three are repeating. Second combination is what all the three are different. In third combination, two zeros are repeating, one more is not repeating. That means two are repeating, one more is different. So these are the what three combinations you are going to get, children. When you draw the a cubic polynomial, and the shape of the polynomial we cannot. Decide. For quadratic polynomial, we can say it is a parabola shape. For the cubic polynomial, we are not going to say any shape, children. And children, listen here. Uh, next, how we can say the number of the polynomials? Like, sorry, the number of zeros. How we can decide, children? The number of points of intersections, isn't it? If the curve is for intersecting the x-axis, like two two places, means see, this is actually what graph, like x-axis and y-axis. You think it is what a curve? See the curve is for intersecting the four places, so it has how many zeros? Four zeros. If curve is for intersecting only three places, so we can say it has exactly three zeros. Okay. Are getting my point, children? That means in general the given polynomial p of x. Okay, general polynomial is for something I am taking p of x. So how we can say, children, how many like zeros of this polynomial intersect the what x-axis at most n points? The degree is equal to has something n means the degree of the polynomial is what something n of any polynomial. Then it will intersect the what x-axis at most n points. At most means what, children? That is the maximum. Okay, it cannot cross n. It can't be n plus one. It can be n minus one also. It can be n minus two also. So at most, it will intersect the only how many points, children? N points only. It's a very simple, children. If I am taking the cubic polynomial, is something degree three. So this cubic polynomial will intersect the x-axis at most three positions only. Not more than three. It may intersect one. It may be intersect two. It may intersect three, but it cannot go something three plus one points. So three plus one points is not allowed. Are you getting my point, children? It will intersect only how many points? At most three. Here at most means I can say maximum. The maximum possibility is what, children? Here three only. So minimum is one. One, two, three. It may intersect one point. Are two points or three points, but we can say at most is only three points. It cannot reach more than three plus one. 
pair children like more than 3 otherwise we can say 3 plus 1 points is not at all possible so what we can say if the degree is equal to n means the curve intersecting the x axis at most how many points n points only that is at most maximum clear chill on this point are any doubts okay now children let us see some question here so they have given some polynomial so we need to find the word the number of zeros okay children see the first question now children look at this question everyone so this is what x axis and it is what y axis and it is a graph of some a some polynomial okay it is a what a graph of some polynomial so we need to identify how many zeros does the graph has that is the question tell me children how many graph zeros the graph is has a uh, two zeros or three zero or one zero so very simple children just find the number of like intersection points between the x axis and the given curve so number of intersection point between the curve and the x axis how many children exactly one point isn't it so we have only exactly one point so we have exactly what a one point so one point means what we can decide children it has only one zero so we can say the number of zeros are how many it has only one zero and children i can say it is a minimum because they did not mention the degree of the polynomial okay in case if they have mentioned the degree of the polynomial is something three means so don't say the zero is one that it has three zeros but three zeros are repeating are you getting my point children this is actually what the degree is three means we can say at most that means there is a possibility of having the three zeros but it can have one zero also it can have two zeros also but it can be it cannot be having the zeros what more than three by looking at this we can say it has only one zero maybe the degree is mentioned so we can say whether it is repeating or non-repeating or what we can say by looking at the degree of the polynomial only clear children but now i can say it has number of zeros or how many one only okay fine now children look at this graph so it is a what children i can say it is a parabola shape so parabola shape means can you tell me children what is actually this uh, polynomial so which polynomial has a parabola shape is it cubic polynomial or quadratic polynomial children in uh, quadratic polynomial has a parabola shape isn't it so this we can say what a quadratic polynomial so a quadratic polynomial has so a quadratic polynomial has children what happened a quadratic polynomial has how many zeros generally it has exactly two zeros it can have only one zero also one zero means the both the zeros are repeating but maximum zeros are what a two zero so it is intersecting what x axis is exactly two points two distinct point children so if the x axis is uh, like the point of intersection between the curve and the x axis is what the two points so two points means what is the conclusion here the number of zeros are how many so the number of zeros are two because the point of intersection of the curve and the x-axis is 2. Therefore, the number of zeros are how many? 2 is the answer. Okay. And children, it is a what? A parabola shape. So, parabola means I can say it is a quadratic polynomial. So, clear children, this question are any doubts? Okay, children, let us see another question. For this children, can you tell me the answer? So, can you tell me what is the number of zeros for this polynomial? the one or two or three just look at the graph and just see the word x-axis then find the word the point of intersection here how many we have children the point of intersections like how many cuttings of x-axis or oh, one cutting or two cutting or three cuttings tell me children how many cuttings we have for this polynomial 
still then we have exactly three cuttings like we can say three intersection points yes or no children we have exactly three intersection points so this is what number one this is number two and this is a number three the curve has exactly three points of intersection are you getting my point children so what we can conclude it has exactly three zeros because children we i don't know the what the degree of the polynomial so i cannot say the number of maximum is what i don't know but from the graph i can say the curve has three zeros clear children because it has three intersection points the curve the like the point of intersection are how many three between the curve and the x axis so i can say the curve has exactly otherwise we can say it has three zeros of the polynomial whatever the polynomial chilla but looking at the graph we can say it has three zeros clear children now let us see another question now children look at this curve children can you tell me what is this graph actually it is straight line straight line means what is the graph of the straight line it is a linear graph yes sir no children linear graph is what what is the meaning of linear graph If a polynomial is in the shape of what a x plus b shape, where a is what not equal to zero, isn't it, children? I told you this point. If the polynomial are in the form a x plus b, the polynomial are in the form what a x plus b form where a is not equal to zero. So we can say that polynomial is what a linear polynomial, and the graph is what, children? We can say a linear graph. So linear polynomial has exactly how many zeros? it has exactly one zero see i can say the intersection point between the x axis and the graph is only one point so one point means what is the conclusion children we can say it has only one zero therefore the number of zeros are what one so the number of zeros are one only because it is a linear graph So linear graph means the point of intersection of x-axis and line is equal to one only. Therefore, we can say what children? It has only one zero. Clear children? This point are any doubts? Children, very simple. Just look at the graph and try to identify. For linear graph and quadratic polynomial, you can easily identify children. But the cubic polynomial, you may you may not be identify. But this is actually what a linear polynomial. Otherwise, we can say it is a what a linear graph. So linear graph means it has exactly one zero. It means it satisfies only a single zero. Now, children, let us see another question. And what about this children? So what is the shape of this graph? Any idea? Children, it is again same parabola shape. Yes or no? The shape is what? It is a parabola shape, isn't it? Now tell me, children, how we can draw? I mean, how we can say the number of zeros are for the parabola? Parabola is what, children? Actually, it is a quadratic polynomial. Parabola is what? The shape of what? A quadratic polynomial. Yes or no? For the quadratic polynomial, what is the number of zeros? Like maximum is what two, minimum is what one. Sometimes zero also. The quadratic polynomial is what not intersecting the x-axis means we can say there are no real zeros. But we are discussing about what a real zeros means. We can say minimum real zeros are what one and maximum are two only. If it is not intersecting the x-axis means what it does not have real zeros. So those zeros are different, children. Those are what imaginary zeros. But we are discussing about only a real zero. So we can say minimum zeros are what one, and maximum zeros are what a two. Now, children, look at the graph. The point of intersection of this graph and the x-axis is exactly one. Yes or no, children? The point of intersection of what the graph and the x-axis in between how many? There is a only one point will satisfy. Clear, shall I my point? Only one point is what satisfy. So only one point will satisfy means can you tell me how many zeros the graph has? Otherwise the polynomial has. So I can say the polynomial has exactly a one zero. 
so we can say one zero but one zero is what children it is a repeating zero because it satisfy what a two zeros a polynomial satisfy two zeros but I, the point of intersection between the x axis and the graph is what one so i can say the both the zeros are what a repeating zeros because it is a quadratic polynomial so both the zeros are same clear children this point okay now children what about this children we don't know what is the shape of this figure otherwise we cannot say which shape of this graph and we cannot decide what is a polynomial whether it is a cubic polynomial or biquadratic polynomial that we cannot decide children so what we can say simply just look at the figure and see the number of intersection points can you tell me children what is the number of intersection points how many we have here exactly this is 1 this is 2 3 And four, so one, two, three, four. So children, we have exactly four points of intersection, isn't it? We have exactly what the four points of intersection, children. So I can say it has how many zeros? It has exactly four zeros. Clear, children? So the graph has exactly four zeros. Fine. Now, children, let us see some questions here. now find the what the number of zeros of the given polynomials and find the what their values also children first tell me what is the given polynomial p of x is equal to what a 2x plus 1 p of x is equal to 2x plus 1 can you tell me children what is this actually polynomial it is a quadratic polynomial or linear polynomial or quadratic polynomial sorry cubic polynomial children it is a, a linear polynomial isn't it because here degree is equal to what 1 so i can say it is a linear polynomial so linear polynomial means the degree is 1 then tell me children how we can find the zero of this polynomial we can say number of zeros are how many one only because it is a linear polynomial linear means the degree is 1 therefore the number of zeros are what one is the answer then tell me children how we can find the number of zeros again same equating to what a zero So what I am writing a 2x plus 1 is equal to what a 0. Then I am writing what a 2x is minus 1. Then I am writing x is equal to what minus 1 by 2. So I can say x is what minus 1 by 2 is a what children. So zero of this polynomial. Clear? Fine. Children, let us see next question. So what is the next polynomial children? Q of y. So Q of y is what? y square minus one. Children, this is the word a quadratic polynomial. It has how many zeros? It has two zeros. So how we can find the two zero children? Again, very simple. So write down y square minus one equal to what? A zero. So y square minus one is what? Equal to zero. Then, children, this I can write as what? A plus b into a minus b form. So I am writing as y plus one into y minus one equal to zero. I can still learn the product is equal to zero means I can say any one of the term is equal to zero. So y plus one is equal to zero, or we can say y minus one equal to zero. So from this I can say y is minus one, and I can say y is what a plus one. Clear, children? It is a quadratic polynomial, so it has exactly two zeros. And what are the two zeros? One is negative one, and one more is what a positive one. Clear, children? Okay. Now, children, let us see the last question. So, what is the last question, children? R of z is equal to what? Z power three. So, this is what R of z is equal to z power three. Children, can you tell me what type of this polynomial? It is a cubic polynomial, isn't it? Because the degree is what three. So I can say it is a cubic polynomial. So cubic polynomial means can you tell me children the number of zeros are how many? Three. So it is it has three zeros. Then children I want to find the what are the three zeros? It's a very simple children. I can write down z power three equal to zero. Okay. Then z power three is equal to zero means what the z is equal to? Z is a zero comma zero comma zero. Here three zeros are what same like repeating, and the three zero are what equal to one only. So sorry, equal to zero only. So I can say z is what a zero zero zero. Clear, children? Because it is a sorry, it is a what a cubic polynomial. So I can say the three zeros are what a repeating, 
because it has some repetition and three zeros are what equal to a zero only clear children this point are any doubts okay that is about today's class children so today we have discussed about what what is a cubic polynomial and how to find the zeros of the cubic polynomial and graphical representation of our a cubic polynomial so that is what about today's class children i hope you understand children